Hi, I'm George with Efficient AC Electric and Plumbing in Austin, Texas. Today, I'm going to talk about plumbing, specifically water pressure, what is normal, and what to do if it's too high or too low. Water pressure can cause major issues throughout a home, and yet it's very commonly ignored. Mostly when water pressure comes up, it's considered low. That is, your home has low water pressure, you don't like the flow to your shower, you don't get enough flow to your sinks, whatever it is, but it's annoying you. And that's the easily identified water pressure issue, usually without measurement. High water pressure can cause even more issues than low water pressure, but it can be silent. You may love the high water pressure, but it's not good for parts of your home. First, how do you measure water pressure? If you want to do it yourself, you can buy a device either on Amazon or go out to Home Depot. You can buy a device that goes on one of your hose bibs and you can get a measurement. You screw it down, tighten it up, turn the water on and check the pressure. The normal range of pressure is between 40 pounds per square inch and 80 pounds per square inch. What happens with higher pressures and why are they bad? Higher pressures, say 100 pounds per square inch or higher, can do damage to your fixtures, to your appliances, to your home. That pressure is not what they're typically designed for. 100 is usually the outer limit. So when you're running at pressures higher than that and you blow a seal in one of those, you could flood your home. So not only do you have to repair that, you have to repair your home. Very bad. How to solve high water pressure. If you don't have a water regulator, and some very old homes don't, you need to add it. Typically, you need to replace it at this point. It was usually adjusted at the beginning to give you the right water pressure, and now it's failing. If you replace that water regulator, which is next to your city service on your side, also remember to replace the inline stop valves at the same time. You've already got it all opened up. Put new stop valves in so you can use your own valves to shut off your water and turn it back on. I understand many of you do it through the city's shut off. It's a big heavy valve and you don't know how to do it. The city doesn't appreciate it. I'll leave it at that. On the other side, how to solve low water pressure, you really have to figure out where it's coming from. It also could be a faulty regulator which needs to be replaced. So the same things apply. New regulator, new stop valves. Either one stop valve if you have uh, no irrigation system or two if you do. Or you may have an issue that stems back to the city, which is a little bit more difficult. You can call your city and try to get that water pressure stepped up. They're probably going to tell you it's normal. There are other solutions with pumps that you can use. They start to get complicated and expensive, and you'll have to decide if it's worth it. My goal in this video was to give an efficient answer to your plumbing questions. If you have other questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll get back to you. And if you're in Central Texas, you can call us to schedule an appointment. Bye now.